number now this is what they say they save seven hundred and thirty five dollars and three cents right now if you really want to show your client what they're really saving divide that number by 12 and right there they're realizing like wow this is how I help my clients understand why they need to overfund because they really see what they're truly saving. And when they realize like, hey, I'm only saving like sixty something dollars, I say, hey, could you save that boost it up to a hundred bucks? Because here's why they want to understand this, right? Because when I sit down with a client, I show them how to make their money work for them. So I make sure that they understand the importance of why they want to have more money saved in this vehicle. So that way they can make better interest credited because for his credit on the first year he only made two dollars and ninety two cents so when you add this up plus this number it will give you what's called the ending policy value so you add what is saved plus the interest credited and that's the ending value that's how they come up with that number what's called ending value now after this I simply go over my client and I say you know let me give you a quick reminder again what is it that you have you have to take the time to go over that so that way people understand what they have I remind them of the growth potential that they have where they're capped at what, what's the amount of interest they can make and then I also talk about this floor what is the safety that they have even if the market goes down tank I remind them that their money is safe so right there they realize that I could never lose money but I could also gain money I also remind them of the tax advantages that they have the tax deferred income that they have where they don't pay taxes on the gains in the policy if you want to understand this more go to page 46 and 47 in your um, blue book you saving the future book where it talks about the tax advantages of life insurance then you talk about the tax deferred income where they don't pay taxes on the gains in the policy you get tax-free withdrawals and you talk about tax-free loans tax-free death benefit you got to remind them of these great things also the next thing is that you talk about the protection what are some of the protection that they get what are some of the living benefits to explain more about this this is also in your saving your future book where it talks about it on page uh, was it 46 46 and um, 46 through 47 or uh, 45 uh, 45 in the saving the future book where it talks about some of the living benefits that they get so these are protection where you remind them of what their plan have where they have terminal illness or critical illness, chronic illness, uh, death benefit, and long-term care. So these are some of the things that I sit down with my client. They understand simple. I make it very clear. I let them understand this is fast when I do it. And I also show them it's doable for them to understand and also know for the future, all right? So I hope this helped you. I hope you understand now exactly when I sit down with my client, what I do. And I always use the four boxes thanks to our great leadership and our coach, Trainers Academy, it really does some amazing things. I will also encourage you. Make